Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your weekly love reading, okay? Yeah, see, storm warning, okay, the number 10. So this is like a tower moment. This is Scorpio energy, okay? Water, strong water energy here. There's something unexpected. And um, let's clarify this, okay? Spirit, clarify storm warning, please, for the collective. So there's something unexpected. A storm brewing here. Door. Oh, maybe you have unexpected love coming towards you, collective. Door to romance. Interesting. The number 33. Then the bottom of the deck is hostilities. Oh, what is this drama about, you guys? Let's see. I'm going to read um, the energy for this storm warning and see what it is that you need to know. Okay, this card indicates a potential difficulty either in the external world or within yourself and your emotional life. This difficulty is coming closer and you may have already heard rumblings of potential problems around you. The caution here is to be conscious yet not fearful okay consider what's going on and look at the situation with a calm clarity so whenever this comes in or whenever this happens you guys spirit is advising you to stay calm okay and stay conscious and to keep a certain level of awareness here it says consider what's going on and look at the situation with calm clarity investigate your options and honor yourself and your intentions stand up for yourself and take action on your own behalf okay as with all difficulty even the worst storm passes always remember you have the power and the wisdom to handle whatever may come your way wow let's see what door to romance is all right we oh yeah you got a new beginning in love coming so after this storm is a new beginning in love but 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 or uh, this could have something to do with um somebody here might not like that you have new love you guys okay but let's read this because i sent some jealousy and some hostile five of wands energy here whether you're looking for a new relationship or just more love in the relationship that you're in this door with a heart opens on to a new beginning in your experience let me turn the page a new love may be arriving and you are being brought together by a strong resonant connection. So this could just be like a whirlwind of love coming towards you that's just going to hit you unexpectedly and it's going to be so strong. Okay, it's going to be very strong. All right, it says this may this may be a call from a past, oh, a call from a past life. So you got a past life soulmate coming. So when this card appears in your spread, Make sure you're projecting the kind of self-loving energy that you want to receive from other people. Be aware that the universe returns your self-caring treatment to you. It's ready to open that door. Are you? Are you ready for love? Interesting. Ready for love. This is so interesting, you guys. Look at this. The caged heart. This heart is caged. Even though there's a door to love, this heart is still in a cage. So some of you guys could be like guarded. You're like, eh, no, I don't want this love. I don't know if this is, you know, you might be second guessing it, you know, or you may not just be open to love right now. Spirit is giving you a heads up like, hey, you can trust this love, okay? Somebody could also be coming out of the closet, okay? Because this looks like a closet to me also, a closet door opening. So somebody could be unexpectedly sharing with you how they really feel about you okay now we have appreciation the number 15 interesting and on the bottom of the deck is the garden and the gate you guys have something good so it's like this person here in this garden and the gate there's a bunch of abundance around this person the number 30 could be significant for you okay and half of 15 is 30 so i feel like this is your other half this is your other half there's some abundance coming around you. This is good. Be be in the spirit of appreciation and gratitude. I'm going to read the garden gate. This card shows up as a peaceful young woman in a beautifully blossoming garden and colorful flowers all around. However, the gate to the road outside the garden is locked while the girl wears a keychain around her neck. Yep, so she's got this key around her neck, right? There's a lock on this this in this cage on this heart so this is going to be somebody who unlocks the door to your heart wow 
Let's keep reading. Okay, this this card of right bodies well for the financial scene. In fact, there may be a lot of money or other personal pleasures coming your way at this time. Ooh, so you have abundance and new love, or this person could be financially um, abundant also too. But be aware, the choice to stay in the seemingly secure security of this loving garden may actually be motivated by a habit or a fear of the unknown. I told you you might be like a little bit set back, like a little like, I don't know, you might be questioning this. You know, because this heart is in a cage, in a closet. You know what I mean? So, the Spirit is telling you, don't be afraid. All right? It says, especially step out on fear, okay? The beauty is enticing and worth enjoying. But you may not be giving your spirit the freedom to roam. While it's fine to amass a great deal of wealth, don't let it keep you from your karmic path or from living your truth. You have the choice to shift your focus, widen and spirit widen your spiritual perspective and gain the world that is just outside your gate so don't be afraid to step step up and step out you know maybe some of you guys have been focusing too much on work you've been focusing too much on something right or you're just stuck in your comfort zone and spirit is saying be 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 ready to step uh into your comfort zone to step out of your comfort zone excuse me show me more here for the collectors please Oh, I like this energy, you guys. Children, it is, and look, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Mm -hmm. So children may be involved in this situation, okay? Somebody could be, the person coming towards you could have children, or you might be a single parent, or, you know, or this could be someone that you have children with here. Um, You know, or we'll see what else is surrounding this. Oh, yeah. Some of you are healing your inner child wounds too, okay? Healing family issues. So this this connection might be very healing. And this might be someone who's going to help you heal your inner child wounds. This connection is the inner, okay? Then we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, okay? So this connection is going to be very strong. That There might even be the possibility of you actually having children with this person, Okay. What else do we have underneath the deck? There's somebody here that's going to chase you, you guys. Okay, and make sure that your chakras are in alignment or make sure that your heart chakra is open and you're ready, ready for this because I feel like you guys are kind of closed off or protecting yourself or guarding yourself or you're just like a little bit like, eh, I, I don't know about this. I don't know. Let me see. Show me what else here. Whatever this is coming towards you is something to, to appreciate. I'll tell you that. Oh, the twin flame. Look at that. Twin flame. Your passion ignites. Another message of, another message of passion. I like this energy. You got a twin flame coming towards you. Beautiful. A strong physical bond. Okay. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for you will find true bliss so this connection with this person is going to be passionate you might be feeling like you don't want to wait you want to wait and you don't want to rush into anything and that's okay if that's what you feel but at least spirit is saying be open okay just be open don't be guarded they have already said it's safe for you to love okay all right, let's pull some tarot and see what this is about. Show me more here for the collective. Show me more here for this situation for the collective. You know what I'm also getting here? Even though there's like a storm brewing here or it looks like a hurricane, natural disaster, you see these pillars? These pillars look strong. They don't look like they're going to go anywhere. Okay. So whatever this connection is, it's going to be strong. It's not, it's going to be a strong, stable foundation. You and this person will have the ability to build that. Look at that. Six of Cups. Told you. Soulmate, Twin Flame, Past Life. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. Yep. Let me move these out of the way. I like this energy already. Tenderness, healing that inner child wound. Two of Cups. Two of Cups is in reverse, by the way. Mm. This 
could be somebody from the past. But I'm strongly feeling like this two of cups should not be in reverse. But we'll see what what's, what's, what else comes out. Five of Wands. Yeah, there's a past person here. That's that hostility. So you got somebody from the past lingering. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Yeah, you you have somebody who you might have competition. This is the person who's causing chaos. Somebody's gonna be upset about this. Seven of coins. Ooh, somebody might be pregnant. What is going on here? This woman is pregnant in the seven of coins. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay, this is somebody here who. Mm, hold on, let me get more information. Show me more here about this. Seven of Cups, except not Seven of Cups. Seven of Coins energy is about waiting, investing time and effort and energy into something, planting a seed. This is like long term. You know what I mean? Like finally, your your it's time for you to because usually in the Seven of Cups, normally in certain decks, the person is like waiting for their harvest to pluck the harvest. To pull from the tree, they're like, wait, waiting, waiting. Okay, I planted this seed, and now I'm waiting to see the results of that seed grow. But here in this card, you can see, like, this woman here, she literally, there it is. Okay, she literally, like, has already picked her fruit. So it's ripe, and it's ready. You're, you might be ripe and ready, too. We, You know, we did see children, okay? So somebody either here wants to get you pregnant, or there's a high possibility that there's going to be so much passion. Somebody has a kid. Mm. Too many. Alright, sorry. Mommy. Show me more about the situation. Please. The death card in reverse. What is going on? So you're transforming and rebirthing. Okay. This could be somebody literally birthing a child to... You're changing, okay? Sometimes, too, this death card is like somebody not refusing to change, you know what I mean? But in reverse, this is like, hmm, you clearing and purging and reinvesting in yourself, regenerating, transforming. Empress energy. Yeah, new moon. So you are changing your dark. Your life is changing, you guys. You're heading in a totally new you're on a new cycle when it comes to love, by the way. So don't give up. Stay determined. Keep the course. Okay. Things are gonna change for you in like a month, okay? Because you're manifesting your desires. And this is gonna happen in between a month from now or the next new moon cycle okay so just set your intentions set your intentions now or maybe do like some journaling during the new moon here to manifest this because yeah i think you're just tired of whatever old conflict you had with somebody this looks like this was a stalemate from the past Queen of, yeah, you, you are going to be doing that. Good for you. Queen of Swords energy. Gemini Libra Aquarius. You're cutting out anything that just is not working for you, basically. You know, you're going to be direct. You're just you're telling it like it is. The devil in reverse. Yeah, you're, you're detaching. You're cutting out what no longer serves you. You are changing. You're clearing your energy and you're purging. And even you're, you're, wow, like this is definitely rebirth energy for sure. You're, you, you, you have your eye on the prize and you're not going to waver from that. Okay. You're just not, you're trying to detach from this devil energy, Capricorn energy. Mm. Cutting off toxic connections. This, this two of cups and reverses could have been that toxic connection. That could also be the person who's hostile. All right, we have so you be 
cutting somebody off here within a week, one to two weeks from now. You're gaining your strength to do this. Okay, and you're going to get a new perspective within another week or two. You're going to see something from a totally different vantage point. Yeah, nine of cups. You doing this, shifting? You're going to get the strength to do this, and this is like, boom, your wish fulfillment comes in. Nine of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So whatever this wish fulfillment is, I feel like it's coming in with between a one to two weeks or a month. One more. The hair of font in reverse. So I think this is you breaking free from any status quo. And you're thinking for yourself. You're getting this new form of clarity. You're not conforming to the other things that don't work for you or any toxic connections with anybody. Clarify the hair of font in reverse, please. Let me see. Let me shuffle again. Clarify the hair of in reverse. The Ace of Cups. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. Ace of Cups. Cancer. Pisces. Scorpio. Energy. You get new love. And it's going to be something unexpected that you didn't. You just didn't know or you weren't aware of. Like the challenge has been for you in the past. I feel like it's been in these toxic relationships that were totally unconventional and they didn't work for you. This is going to be something new and different, like for real. And Spirit wants you to enjoy it. This is going to be it, okay? This is going to be your person. Your person, your person, your person, honey. Hello. All right. Clarify this devil in reverse. Three of wands in reverse. So, yeah, you're, you listen. The issue was you're, you, <clears throat> in the past, you were stuck, right? You were stuck, whether it was a pattern or whether it was dealing with this toxic partner or person from the past, they had you stuck, you know? You, you weren't able to see clearly. You weren't able to see clearly, you know? You might have been thinking too small. Spirit is saying, no, I have something better for you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. No, I have something better for you. Mm-hmm. Clarify the death card in reverse, please. Oh, the sun. The death card in reverse was you had to change some things because you weren't happy. You know, you weren't happy. But guess what? You're, you, you will be happy and you're changing some things. You're doing things how you want to do them now. You're doing whatever it takes to make you happy. Whatever changes that means, whether who gets chopped, cut up. Sushi, whatever, it's, it's, they, they are minced. They minced meat now. <laughs> Clarify the death card in reverse, please. Yeah. Yeah, two of swords. So, yeah, this, this was you, okay, seeing red flags, okay, stopping what was delaying you, blocking you, you know, going within. Yeah. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. The sun card is Leo, energy. Let me get one more for death. In reverse. The moon. The moon upright. This is you seeing. Finally getting clarity. Okay. Finally get, getting clarity and being able to make a decision. But Because you, you, I feel like your intuition was blocked. Or something. You know. And you weren't seeing something clearly. But now it's like, no. I'm seeing it clearly now. I'm in this queen of swords energy for sure. You know, you, you experience some deception. You could be, your spirit could be sending you dreams, whatever, you know. Yep, look at that, the empress on the bottom of the deck. I told you, you were in this rebirth, this, this, this birthing of something new energy. Good for you. I love this. I, I want to get some cards on this hostility. <clears throat> Yeah, show me what this five of wands is about. Who is this five of wands? Five of swords. Again, conflict. You're changing it up. You're you are disconnected from anything or anybody that any or any doubt. You're believing in yourself. You're making amends with the past and you're like, you know what? I'm done. Or this is somebody else who wants to make amends with you. 
but you're definitely shifting your energy and moving on, okay? Or this is somebody who in the past put you through some conflict and now they want to come back and change. Show me more. Who, who is this person? This person could be a an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Yeah, somebody's coming back. See, there's no progress with this person. Somebody hasn't changed. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. I can't even pick the card up. It's a six of swords, okay? That's, that's that storm brewing, brewing. So this storm warning is like that no progress, okay? Hmm. Let me switch my deck real quick. Alright. Show me who is this Six of Swords? Show me more on this. Who is in the Six of Swords energy, please? Okay. Two of Pentacles. <sighs> no progress. There was no progress with this person because they were undecided. They couldn't make a decision towards Virgo Capricorn energy. Somebody wasn't able to make a decision. You know? Yeah. This is somebody you had, you had an ending with. And it didn't end well. Ten of Swords, it did not end well. Betrayal, heartbreak. You know, that was that you going through that that energy I felt earlier in the pre-shuffle where there was like, um, three of swords energy, like I told you guys from the beginning. Show me more for the collective. Show me this new person coming in. Show me more about the new person. The new person could be a water sign, five of cups. Somebody's in regret, remorse. But look at that, Ace of Cups, again. You could have your back turned to love and not might not even see this energy. I feel like this could be you worried about the past and how it didn't work out and you don't even see this new offer coming in that the divine has for you because this person has their back turned. There's an offer coming in, Nine of Pentacles. It's totally possible that this person who wants to offer this Ace of Cups is this new love. It could be somebody from the past. Dang, look at that. This is you. I feel like this is you. King of Swords or it could be an air sign. This person could be an air sign. They want to offer this to you. So we have the Queen of Swords here and the King of Swords. So they are your soulmates or your twin flame. Show me more about this person who wants to offer this Ace of Cups. They want to offer that. Look, this is like this is your offer page of pentacles. Okay, this is person could be a gift give, giver. This is somebody who's going to be they might start out small, you know. Um, it's not a lot, but they want to give you this. Ooh, ooh, as soon as I said it's going to start out small, spirit said, No, 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 ten of pentacles. It may start out small, but it's going to turn into this ten of pentacles. Ooh, ooh. Gift giver, big daddy, six of pentacles, gift giver. This is somebody who's going to be giving gifts, wealthy, there's long-term stability here. What's this five of cups about? Clarify the five of cups. Okay, the death card. I told you that was you. Remember we saw the death card earlier? I told you this was you changing. While you're changing and going through something, it's like you're just like, dang, you're so busy worried about the past. Let go of the past. Spirit is saying it's safe. Heal from heal from the heartbreak or whatever. You know? Mm. You may have somebody could have left you out in the cold had you feel like Miss Five of Pentacles energy. That's why you're so worried about that. Mm-hmm. That's why, and it's coming towards you pretty fast because look what's on the top of the deck, the chariot. This is fast energy. That's forward movement. That's you staying determined. You being successful. Finally having control. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is good. Stay focused, you guys. Stay focused. Um, Let me see what other... Cards I want to do real quick because I really love, love this reading. This is a beautiful reading. Okay. Sorry, 
delay so long, but I feel led to do this. Okay. Show me more for the collective here, please. Addiction. Is this you uh, focusing too much on the past? Let go. Regret. Yeah, see, that's my Five of Cups energy. Now, again, that could be somebody old who regrets something because there is some past energy of somebody who just wasn't ready. They juggled you. They played games. All right. Now they're feeling remorse. But I think a lot of you guys are just obsessively thinking about the past. <clears throat> Interfer yeah, this that five of swords energy again. This past person wants either this past person wants to interfere with this new connection when it comes in for you, or this is your energy of too being too focused on the past that it might get in the way of the connection that you have with the new person, or it could be both. Yeah, don't dismiss the red flags. All right, spirit wants you to. Pay attention. Oh, shoot. This card don't even belong in here, but look at what came out. The Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. There's another card here involving children. So you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in your reading. You have the possibility of having the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles with somebody else, but Spirit is saying, hey, don't get caught up in this past person. Who left you out in the cold and had you in this ten of swords energy? Yeah, and you're not talking to this person. You're not talking to this person. And spirit is guiding you not to talk to them and to release them and let go. Yeah, okay. So I feel like this on the top of the yep, top of the deck, second chance. Somebody's gonna cause conflict. So just get ready for that. That's your message, okay? I love you guys. Hit the like button.